You know, if you're trying to entertain this season, you may want to brush up on your cooking skills, your mixology skills, and what better way to do it than in a beautiful place like Nico Osteria, right here on the Gold Coast. This one right here, First Ascent Avidale, is really unique. It's got 60 foot high walls with over 100 different routes to choose from. And the best part, anybody can try it. And I mean anybody. So if I'm sucking wind at the end, you'll like help, you'll pick me back up. Yeah, and I got shoes that are older than you. <laughs> yeah, if I beat you, that's sad. And if you miss the couch at the park, it's okay. You can check it out at the Sky Deck all weekend long as well. They're even lighting up the building tonight in honor of the big anniversary. Come on guys, let's go. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. <laughs> You know, they're not very good at listening because the issue is, guys, I come near them and they run away. They're supposed to herd with me into the pen. A real, authentic movie experience. We've got the popcorn machine and this. This does not look like a car I would drive on the street. You know it really is. We're going to run about 150 with you. That's it? I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. That's fine. The right side's the gas pedal. Can you reach them? No. Oh, gosh. Am I supposed to? You're going to be driving, so you've got to pay attention. I am not driving. Yes. No, I'm not. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well done. And she did it. Well done, Welker. It's warm. You know, anytime she has she to said take, it's warm. Anytime she has to take off her microphone and her earpiece, you know she's about to do something. And they say the only way an alpaca will spit on you is if you call it a llama. <gasps> Ooh, that's like a swear word, right, guys? Question, would you guys like to go on a picnic? What? Yeah, because I'll pack a lunch. Ah, but I'm I'm not an angry person, but check this out. I'm standing on top of a car, guys. This window was already smashed out when I got here, but you can literally come to the House of Purge and smash your way to a less stressful life. Well, I'm already wet, so you could tell that I've been practicing because I'm a little nervous. I'm a washed up diver, that's what they call me. Okay. Stop it! That was awesome! Oh this was super invasive, I know, but mom said, do it! We're really excited! We gotta go to the kitchen now and make some breakfast and lunches. We'll be back in just a little bit. Wake up! Ah! It's the first day of school! <laughs> Guys, I'm kind of geeking out because I'm actually standing on an active ramp of Charlotte Douglas International Airport. It's right outside one of the big doors, the hangar of this museum. You can see behind me an active runway of where those commercial planes land, where you and me fly. But oftentimes, it's a professional pilot. Well, every time, it's a professional pilot that flies us through the skies. But here, without risk, you can get behind the wheel at their brand new flight simulator. You could try out the gears, try out their flight simulator control area, and even do barrel rolls. And guys, I'm telling you what, I did it this week, and they say it's all in order to encourage a future generation of flyers. It drives our mission is to engage people, to have fun with aviation, to understand what aviation is, to get up and fly without the threat of actually losing your life. Welcome to Stagel's Arena, Bulls roam and the Cowboys ride. Bull riding, that is. They say it's the biggest thrill you can ever have. These cowboys ride week in and week out on a wild bucking bull, hanging on for dear life. It's not if you get hurt, it's when and how bad. We've got one picked out for you, his name's Chili Pepper. For some reason, I thought I should give it a shot. A helmet, chin strap, padded vest to protect your ribs and organs, and gloves. And I was ready to ride Chili Pepper. A gentle bull, right? You're probably gonna hit the ground, but the dirt will always catch you. You don't have to worry about that. I'm feeling like a wild bull. You know, I'm just gonna ride it, hold on, hope for the best. Here we go. I started in the chute, the holding area before the big ride. The cowboys calmed the bull, but more importantly, they attempted to calm me. You just wing this? Yep. This is on the job training. So my hand's not gonna like get stuck in that rope? No. Shouldn't. I don't like this like not confident answer. Like the shouldn't isn't a good answer. I said a short prayer, heard the cowbell, and held on. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I'll be totally honest, it was not pretty. And I won't be quitting my day job anytime soon. But what I do know is I'll be walking like a bull rider for quite some time. You don't become Dale Jr. overnight. In fact, Dale got one of his first major wins in a legend car. The purpose of legend cars is to provide a inexpensive feeder series into the top levels of American racing. Jordan Black is the lead instructor and runs the test drives for the Legend Series here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. He works with kids as young as 12 years old to get them into racing. Today, he's working with a total beginner, me. Oh man, I'm already hot and I'm not even in the car yet. I suited up and hit the track. First lesson, how to drive it. So what happens if you've never driven a, a manual? Um. It'll make for some good highlights. Oh, there's a mirror. What? It's like a rear view mirror. I practiced with the clutch and the shifter. All I had to do was go up to third gear and hit the gas the rest of the time. Let's do it. It's just a ton of fun. You know, you get out here, you race on the quarter mile where all the cup drivers race. You're in the uh, NASCAR garages. Um, this is where it all happens, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. So this is the heart of it. It's not every day you could say you learn how to drive stick on Charlotte Motor Speedway. The original location is right here on East Boulevard. It's been visited by Guy Fieri on diners, drive-ins, and dives. But I thought before they served that one millionth hot dog, I gotta go in and try it out. Step into JJ's Red Hots and you immediately get a slice of Buffalo, Chicago, and Charlotte all in one. That's where owner Jonathan Luther got his inspiration for the Queen City hot dog joint six years ago. A lot of these better burger joints were popping up, and I just felt like the hot dog was sort of lost in the shuffle. Today, it's not just your side of the road hot dog stand, although they do have two of those as well. This place serves up the famous Salem's hot dogs from the Northeast with a Carolina twist. So we do a chili slaw, onions and mustard combination called the char heel, and that's our best seller. One million hot dogs later, they'll be celebrating with a $2 dog all day long on Sunday. I hopped in the kitchen to make the favorites. And then, of course, a taste test. Can you see the hot dog in there? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Really good product. And that's really what this place is built around, is the social impact of sitting down and having a hot dog with someone in a very personal world sometimes.